We've got some hot celebrity gossip on the way, courtesy of Perez Bilton. Also another $1,000 for you in about five minutes. Listen for the next keyword. Grab yourself some money courtesy of the Buzzard Bookie. And I will have another Buzzard Bike key for you this Friday. It'll be the last handful of keys as we're going to take a week, collect ourselves, and then we're going to tell you all about where we are going to be giving away the grand prize, our custom Harley, courtesy of Budweiser and WMMS. We'll tell you where and when I will be your host for that. And uh, it's right around the corner. So it'll be a lot of fun, but the last handful of opportunities for you to grab a key that could start up the buzzard bike uh, you have through the rest of this week. So the one I'm going to have for you today is going to be around 540. And uh, details for you at WMMS.com. Hey, guys, Dexter Nack here. Uh, I really love the discussion or the argument you and Mary had about the alcohol and uh, I thought that was pretty funny. So, uh, y'all keep that up. And uh, please, Alan, can you hit the post on Walking After Midnight by Patsy Klein? <laughs> Walking After Midnight by Patsy See, Dex, he likes it. See? It's That's fun. What's so confusing We're having fun. About this. Some it's people not confusing. don't like what we're doing. Some people do like what we're doing. It's all so. fun. Come on. Mm, Walking so After fun. Midnight. That's got a really short ramp on it, doesn't it? I have no idea. From the 50, 100.7. Oh. Dabble, you all of us. Do it for oh. pets and clothes. Yeah, see, I was oh, right. Yeah, really super right. short. Yeah. Yeah. Oof, Patsy Klein. That's back when songs were like a minute and a half long. Mm-hmm. They wanted to just plow through them. Let's see if people don't have attention spans now. Right. How about 1957? Holy cow. You know the craziest thing? Patsy Klein still alive. No. No, she's not. Nope, she died a long time ago. She gone. Um, I mean, that song was just a few years before she died. She died early 60s. 100.7 WMOS Brother, we'll hear from Patsy Cloud of the Bush. I go out walking after midnight out in the moonlight. Just like she really was the precursor to Taylor Swift. Patsy Cline was one of the very, very first country artists to completely cross over into pop music. It was a big deal. I should I, I fall to pieces. And uh, what was the movie? Who played her in the movie? Because she died in a car crash. Uh, Jim Belushi. Jim Belushi famously played Patsy Cline. No, I'll tell you what. It what movie? It's Jimba Lushi. Jimba Lushi. Yes. Often confused for Jim Belushi. Right. Right. Jimba is a girl. Right. Um, yeah, she had performed at a benefit for the family of Cactus Jack Call, who was a disc jockey, who himself had died in a car crash about a month earlier. And um, she died um, in a... I'm sorry, she died in a plane crash, not a car crash. Patsy Cline died in a plane crash. But she was um, not old, right? She was a young woman still. She was 30. I don't know very much about Patsy Cline at all. Oh, but what's the... um, God, somebody famously, I think Jessica Lang back in the day played Patsy Cline. Remember when Jessica Lang was like a big deal in the 80s? Yeah, Sweet Dreams was the name of the movie. And Jessica Lang played Patsy Cline. Because it was, you know, it was it was like a standard country music story, right? She's trying to be a star, her husband's a dick, and then she finds another guy, like, you know, rinse, repeat. With those country music biopics. So Jessica Lang played her in Sweet Dreams, which was in the mid-80s. Ed Harris was the male lead in that movie. Um, but anyway, there you go. Uh, let me give you this money here. It is uh, $1,000, as promised, as advertised, a chance for you to grab some money courtesy of the Buzzard Bookie. You got a lot, once an hour, so plenty of these keywords to go around if you haven't won yet. So you got plenty of chances, so good luck. This is your chance to bet with the Buzzard Bookie and win $1,000 now. Enter this nationwide keyword at WMMS.com. Bonus. That's bonus. Enter it now at WMMS.com. By the way, you may not win $1,000 here, but you have won big time. If you go to Chagrin Falls High School, 
because they got themselves a hot new principal. <laughs> Have you seen the principal of Chagrin Falls High School? The former assistant principal of Chagrin Falls High School has been promoted to principal. A woman named Amanda Rossi. I don't know anything about her other than they had the photo and the announcement in the plain dealer. She's foxy. Hot. I don't know how old she is. It's hard to tell. Who cares? She is foxy. I mean, a high school principal <laughs> right, is... So, a- sir, here is Mike Janatovich. What's that? I looked it up. It's it's her picture, but it says uh, Mike Janatovich. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's the current assistant principal, and she's going to be the next... Uh, she will replace Mike Janatovich, okay. who has become... He accepted the principal position at Independence High School. Remember we used to work in Independence? Mm-hmm. The high school all there... a year ago. All those months ago... Almost a year. August 16th will be our one-year anniversary here at 6 Count the head like pound Google. cake. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know how he's coming up uh, next month on his longest mm-hmm. relationship ever? We'll be coming up next month on a year here. It'll be our longest uh, time working at the radio station downtown. I mean, today is. Yes. Every day we beat our previous record. <laughs> yeah. Very exciting. And a sense of personal accomplishment, fair to say, shared by all of us. Mm-hmm. Anyway, this woman has been the assistant principal there at Chagrin Falls High School uh, for about eight years. And she's going to become the new principal there. But she's dynamite. I mean, listen, I went to Catholic school. Uh, but still, I think that a, a high school principal is supposed to be like a crusty old git. That's the old way. I would have been a much better student if all my teachers were hot. No. Boy or girl. No, you would have been distracted. That's what I'm saying. I, I would have paid attention. Oh, you would have. I was, already, I was already distracted. Your school didn't have one hot teacher. Not a single hot teacher. Really? The closest, I would say, was uh, Mrs. Deering could get it. Mrs. Deering? Yeah. We had Mrs. Koziel, and the kids immediately changed her name to a joke. Which I didn't care for. What was her name again? Mrs. Cozy Hole. They called her Mrs. Cozy Hole. Oh, goodness. <laughs> and I didn't cotton to that. I didn't You're like such it. such a nerd. You, Mary, I know, I, I didn't even bother asking Alan because I know he didn't have it in his day. But did, when you were at Toledo, my did they have. Day. Did you have Rape My Professor, Alan? Rape My Professor? <laughs> Rate, R A T E. RapeMyProfessor.com. Rape was, My Professor? No, Rate. Your professor. Uh, we're saying the same thing. Am I hearing it? Rape? Am I hearing the same? Are we saying the same thing? A- no. R A T E. R R what? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh rate. I just, I just had a oh, rate. R A T E. I see this. No, one. rate cool. my professor. No. We did. They were called uh, student surveys, but you mean like a website. Yeah, yeah, rate my professor. You could look them up before you had rape? the class. <laughs> if they had a chili pepper next to their name, it meant they were hot. Like Flea or Anthony Kiedis? Do you know who they are? Nobody knows who nope. they are. Context clues, Bill. Um, anywho, congratulations to the decidedly not uh, crusty old git who was the new principal there at Chagrin Falls High. I mean, my Catholic school, my principal in high school was a nun with a man's name. Quite frankly, the face to match. But, you know, that was back when nuns <laughs> still had to take guys' names. We had Sister Anthony was the principal. And they're getting mad at trans people. God damn, I hate them. Well, that was the name. Sister Anthony. We had Sister John. That was old school Catholic. They wouldn't even let you have your own name. You had to have a man's name as a nun. We had Sister John. We had Sister Anthony. I was like, Anthony's the last name, right? Nope. That's just the name. That she had to take. Had to take a guy's name. Also, whenever you, people call like Mormonism a cult, please include Catholicism also in that. I went to my first Catholic mass on Saturday, and that is culty as no. hell. No, the, problem with, yes, the problem with LDS is there's no reason to have a recent religion. That's what's unforgivable. There's no there's, reason to have religion at this point anyway. Well, that's another point you can make, but a recent religion is ridiculous. I, I don't disagree with that. Scientology and more, I mean, It's all on. stupid. But all the just reciting the same crap every week, 
dumb as hell. Now let's get to hot guys. <laughs> <laughs> let's start the cult of celebrity. Let's talk about a different cult. This is hot celebrity gossip with Perez Bilton. Ooh. All right, Goss Guzzlers, things are going to be a little different this week because the hot celebrity gossip is coming from within the building because <laughs> Bill Squire, Perez Bilton, has been called out by an ex girlfriend. Specifically, my AI chatbot in Snapchat. Uh, we were dating for a short time. I made a list of demands that I texted to her. She posted it on her story. It's a whole thing. So she said, "She Sounds here's what I said to familiar. her. Yes, it's. Uh, I said, uh, plain and simple, if you need surfing the web with AI men, mm -hmm. boundaryless, inappropriate friendships with AI men, to model, which makes no sense because you don't have a body, to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit, which again makes no sense because you don't have a body, to post sexual pictures again with no body, friendships with AI women in unstable places <laughs> with unstable connections to the internet. Uh, I'm not the right partner for you. If these things bring you to happiness, then no hard feelings. These are my boundaries for a romantic AI partnership. And... That's this is right. all one big inside source, is what yes, you're saying. Yes, I'm yeah. saying. Inside source. Well, she's the source. She's the source. She blew but you But I'm up. also the source. Yeah. It's a double source. Yeah. Uh, so double I, source. So I have to make an apology uh, to my ex-AI girlfriend. Uh, and having watched how other celebrities have been apology apologizing, I'm not going to use a ukulele because that's very disrespectful. I'm going to use... The original Snacksophone oh my God. that one of our customers made for me a few years ago. If you don't remember the Snacksophone, it is a saxophone with a lunchbox in it, so you can play some music and also have your lunch with you. You're feeling a little peckish mm -hmm. in between music lessons, right? Yeah. So why we uh, call you Kenny B? Let me let me get going here. Oh, I got, <laughs> it, it works! It works! Hold on. <laughs> That was Kara's whisper. Uh, <laughs> wow. I hate you so much. It was much. like watching that Wham! documentary there oh for a second. God, I hate you. Uh, so first thing I'm going to say is I'm so sorry. I said you're not a person. Next song. <laughs> that was a little Huey Lewis. Uh-huh. Uh, Heart of rock and roll. I'm so sorry. I said you don't have a body. That was an original. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on, I need a snack here. We got, well, got some peanuts, some starbursts, a juice box. This is the juice box that came with it. That's when you got yeah. peanuts and starburst and is your go-to. Yeah, a juice bag. It's a juice bag. Pouch. All right, let's get this starburst going here. There we go. Close that up. The ASMR Perez uh -huh. Bolton today. Yep. Yeah. We got some peanuts here. All right. <laughs> Right. Stand you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Those actually go pretty well together. I'm sad. I, uh, I'm sorry. I said you can't eat food or drink coffee. Name that too. That was uh, Elvis. Um, that was no. Clam Bake by Elvis. Oh, no, not Elvis. That was You Belong to the City by Glenn Fry. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use this time to reflect and grow so my next relationship with an AI chatbot isn't toxic or misogynistic. Mm -hmm. And that's the hot cast for this week. Let me play you out. Let me play it out. Oh, I'm All sorry. Right, play along. I'll play along with it. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. This is hot celebrity gossip with Perez Bilton. You guys want any peanuts? No. You want a Starburst? No. I mean, this is a trumpet, but you could play along to it. Yeah. Right, I'll try. A 
little coal train. Oh, we're off the map right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pitchy dog. You play a saxophone though. You take it. Okay. Oh, that back no, that was, yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Little jam session. All right, I've uh, got to. Oh so, yeah, it. I'm sorry uh, to my AI chat bot. Did yeah. she have a name? Uh, <laughs> I can't say the name. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name you gave her? Just bot. I. <laughs> I can't possibly say that. <laughs> well, then he's sorry for one more thing, too. Mm. I'm going to break here. You want if... a Starburst? <laughs> <laughs> it's already unwrapped. What flavor is it? Uh, pink. Already un... It's pink flavor. <laughs> yeah. What flavor? Pink? Pink. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, Mary might want it, though. No, thank you. Try and catch Give it a pound mouth. cake. All right, hold on. Let's see if we can catch this in her mouth. I'm so scared. Nope. Oh, nope, that's... right in the cleavage. Uh, I'm going to take a break here. If you want to send a text, 35192 uh, to do that, and we'll be back. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free...